What a day in the grain market today. Soybeans did firm up. The Dow drop was the boost that gave the uh, you know grain the uh, interest. But I have to say that uh, China today cut their imports uh, to start the the news and. I have to say that the market opened so much lower, and as soon as they did that, everything just kind of went to hell in a handbasket, uh, along with the corn and the wheat. Uh, but when the report came out that wet weather is uh, really worrying some of the traders, that there, there's going to be like absolutely too much stress on the crops, uh, all of a sudden the market really gave a big turnaround. Uh, a lot does have to do with the, the big drop in the Dow. The, it, you would always, always think that money that comes uh, from, from the fund managers that comes out of the, the stock market starts to always move into the commodities. So uh, oftentimes that that's a big reversal, but that's a, a little bit behind why the market reversed itself so much. The same thing with corn. Corn turned up uh, as well. Uh, speculators really gave up a lot of their long positions and that's what really would sunk the market early on, but it had a very nice recovery today. That was a, a big surprise, uh, uh, you know, uh, that the market turned around. Also, we're possibly looking for a bullish uh, crop progress report today. Uh, we're not really sure exactly uh, what that number is, but the markets really have been, you know, gyrating around an awful lot. Uh, it's still going to be very difficult to sustain these numbers, uh, but we're going to watch that closely. And we always knew that there was going to be big volatility coming here at the end of summer, and it did not disappoint. Uh, wheat was mixed today as well. Uh, there was weakness in the Russian ruble, and uh, that's really what gave the market a little bit of a, a boost here. But uh, uh, based on the U.S. dollar, you know, the, the idea that we were going to, that the market was going to be much lower for wheat because we were not going to be competitive, uh, that's how the day really started. And then the market turned right around and everything ended up higher. So it was a big surprise across the board. And I think it's caught a few traders off guard to see exactly what's happening here when the market moves with this big of a number. This is the biggest move for 2019 in the Dow. And it does have a ripple effect and affects all the markets across, across the board. So let's watch closely. Uh, let's not forget that next Monday is the big crop report and the acreage report. And that's what we're really going to be focusing on for the grains uh, coming from, from between now and then.